Hello, my lovely YouTube family. How is it going? So, if you're new here, I'm Kat Meffern. I am going to be your yoga teacher for today. And if you're back here time and time again, thank you so much for coming back. So, just while you get yourself settled, grab your mat, a bolster, a block, a strap, anything you think you might need. I'm just going to chat about what today's practice is. So, we're doing a mandala flow. A mandala literally means circle. So, we're going to be circling our way around the mat. Now, we're not going to be doing a full mandala practice. That would be something between 60 and 90 minutes. You can find those, the 60 minute ones, over on my Soul Sanctuary membership. So if you scroll down and you click the link underneath this video, you can go check it out. It's a monthly membership and you get 30 minute practices, 60 minute practices, meditations, community, you name it, you get it. So go check it out. What we're doing today is kind of getting a little bit of a taster for that. We're going to be working our way around the mat doing our mandala salutations. So really excited to bring this to YouTube because actually I haven't done a mandala practice in this way on YouTube before. So it's a first. So welcome and I hope you enjoy it. This practice is going to be great for waking up the whole body um, and to really get moving with that fluidity. So checking in with the breath so much as we move. So really finding that moving meditation. Let's take a moment to get grounded. So come to find a comfortable seated position. Close the eyes. Take a big shoulder roll going back. Crown of the head draws all the way up to the sky. Noticing all the parts of the body connecting to your mat, grounding down, picking up that earthy energy up through Muladhara, lifting the root chakra, feeling that energy rise as we start to feel more lifted. Engaging the core muscles, those stabilizers. Noticing belly rise, belly fall with the breath. We're going to be taking three releasing breaths here, inhaling through the nose and then blowing the exhale out like that. I'll count us. So take the inhale and blow it out. Two more. Inhale. And blow out. One more. Inhale. And release. Drop the chin down to the chest. Start to take half neck rolls. Working down through center. And coming back down and around side to side. Now usually in our longer mandala practices, we start with a long yin hold and finish in the same way. Today is going to be slightly different as we don't have as long for this practice, but we still will be gently moving into the body. Bring the chin back down to the chest, interlace the hands behind the head, very gently add a tiny bit of pressure as you draw those triceps down towards the chest. Getting an even bigger stretch through the spine. And release the hands, bring the spine, the head, the neck back to neutral. Switch the cross of the legs. Let's get used to going in the slightly more uncomfortable cross. Right hand goes down, left arm sweeps all the way up. And we're going to inhale and bring that left arm to cactus and then exhale, take it over into the stretch. Okay. So inhale, ease away cactus. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it back around to the other side. Left hand goes down. Right arm sweeps all the way up. Take a breath here. Just find that strength through the obliques, through the core. Keep you lifted. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale, exhale, beautiful. Now slowly rolling over the knees, coming into an all fours position. Now add a little bit of a wiggle through your cat cow today. So not just a traditional cat cow. I want us to be moving with a little bit more freedom in the body. So bringing yourself maybe back as far as a child's pose. Tapping into that fluid body, fluid breath. Feeling into the water element, the constant movement. Connecting to the inner ocean. A few more moments here. Can you make it a little bit bigger than it is right now? And then ground down through the hands, tuck under the toes, take the bottom all the way back. Take some moments to pedal out, maybe through the feet, a shake, a nod of the head. And don't forget about the shoulders. We're really finding that fluidity, like I said today. The shoulders don't always have to stay rigid. And then finding stillness in your downward facing dog. Now, we're going to start our mandala salutations. Usually, the first one is the flow. And what comes after is the holds. We're going to flip it so that you guys can just get used to the flow. So we're not going to go too quick to begin with. So we inhale, sweep the right leg all the way up. Step it through between the hands. Take an inhale, reach all the way up. Find a high lunge. Kali Mudra up above the head. Open the chest. Breathing here. Float the hands down, left hand releases, right arm reaches all the way up and over, and we find our revolved skandhasana, so that right hand is out. If you get confused with the transition, we're going to do it many more times, so you've got time to get used to it. Take an inhale, bring it all the way around to right side skandhasana. No worries if you can't get that right heel down. See if you can balance on the toes. Let's push it all the way to the back of the mat, left side skandhasana. Frame the left foot with the hands, drop the back knee down. Now this time Kali Mudra behind the back, lift the chest. Release the hands, place the hands down, take that left leg all the way back, three leg dog. And then shift your way forwards through your vinyasa. So either modifying through the knees or coming down through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now to be able to do the 360 of the mat, we go right side again. So inhale, right leg goes up. Step that right foot through between the hands. Reach the arms all the way up. Kali Mudra, that empowering directional energy. Heart lifts. Float the left hand down to the mat. Sweep the right arm all the way up and over as you pivot onto the knife edge of both feet, coming over for your revolved skandhasana. Holding here just for an extra breath. And then bring it over right side skandhasana, hands to heart center. And you've got to shift your way to the front of the mat. Come to find that left side. And then hands come down, frame the left foot. Back knee drops down, interlace hands behind the back, Kali Mudra, lift the chest, engaging the core here, glutes are switched on as well. Slowly release the hands, frame the left foot, tuck under the toes, fly that left leg high, and then work your way through your vinyasa. Meeting back in the downward facing dog. Beautiful, let's go for the left side. So inhale, left leg reaches high. Step it through between the hands. Reach all the way up. Find the high lunge, Kali Mudra with the, with the hands. And then slowly float the right hand down next to the left foot. Sweep the left arm up and over as you drop the right hip and that left arm reaches out. Revolve Skandhasana, remember to breathe. Find that flow. Inhale, bring it all the way back around. Left side Skandhasana, hands to heart center. Shift it across, take it over to the back of the mat. 
and then frame the right foot, drop the back knee down, interlace the hands behind the back, and draw the hands down behind you, lift the chest. Keep that big breath. Release the hands, frame the right foot, tuck under the toes, sweep the right leg high up to the sky, and then flow through your vinyasa, either modifying or coming through your full vinyasa, making sure you listen to your body. What is it that you need today? Take a moment, and then we go left side again. So ground down through right, sweep the left leg all the way up. Step it through between the hands, reach the arms high, high lunge. Lift the chest. And then slowly release that right hand down. Sweep the left arm up and over, it finds the revolve skandhasana. Extra breath here. And then bring it all the way around to left side skandhasana. You can use the fingertips if you need to, to get yourself over to the right side, Skandasana. Release the hands, frame the right foot, drop the back knee down. Reach the hands behind you. Kali Mudra, that directional energy, lift the chest. Feel empowered through this lift here in the chest. Body is switched on. And release, frame the foot, step it back, sweep the right leg high up to the sky, and then wave your body through your vinyasa, either chaturanga or modify through the knees, taking it back, downward facing dog. Now you have options here in your downward facing dog. Take a child's pose or come to kneeling, absolutely a brilliant option. Know when your body needs some time to pause. If not, you have the option to lower the forearms down. Take dolphin, or if you're feeling for it and you know you're there, then by all means you can take Pinchamayarasana, your forearm stand. So just working with where you're at, still early in the practice. Maybe a forearm stand isn't for you today. Or any day, that's still okay. Maybe it's a child's pose day. Embrace that child's pose. One more breath, and then push it all the way up, meeting back in a downward facing dog. On your next inhale, step or float the feet to the hands, lift the chest, create some space. Exhale, fold down over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms high up to the sky. Exhale, the hands through heart center, beautiful. Release the hands down by the side, second round. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, create space. Exhale, place the hands, step or float back, lower down chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step right foot forwards, find the high lunge, reach the arms up. From here, we're going to take five little lowers with the back knee. So we lower down for one and lift for two and lift for three and lift for four and lift. Last time for five and lift. Beautiful. Float the left hand down. Sweep the right arm up and over. We pulsate. We take this right arm up above the ear. Inhale. Exhale. Draw it down, cactus. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, beautiful. Spin around, pivot, transition, find that skandhasana on the right side, hands come to heart center. Now we hold here, take a nice big inhale, exhaling, inhaling here, exhale. And we're going to come through goddess this time. So push up, find goddess, release the hands, reach the arms all the way up. 
Exhale, bring hands through heart center, and then take yourself over to the left side, Skandasana. Beautiful. Frame that left foot, drop the back knee down, interlace hands behind the back, draw the hands down as you lift the chest. From here, we just hold and breathe. Find the fluidity through the breath, the connection, the meditation within the movement. One more breath here. And then slowly release, frame the foot, step it up and then sweep that left leg all the way up, three leg dog, flow through the vinyasa. Meeting back in your downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep right leg high, step it forwards between the hands, reach the arms all the way up. Kali Mudra with the hands and you know what's coming, we take those five lowers for one. Lift, for two, lift, for three, lift, for four, lift, for five, and lift, beautiful, float left hand down, sweep the right arm up and over, revolve Skandasana. Now reach that right arm up above the head, take an inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus, dip the hip. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, beautiful. Inhale, pivot around. Find your way to your Skandasana, heart lifts, hold here. If you've gotta be balancing up on the foot, if you're up here, no worries, you can take the fingertips down. You can still be in a Skandasana, just modified. Just because it doesn't look like mine doesn't mean that you're not in the pose. Let's shift our way through, find goddess, a pretty wide goddess. Inhale, take those arms up. Exhale, bring it all the way over to the front of the mat. Frame the left foot, drop the back knee down, untuck the toes. And then interlace the hands behind the back. Index finger points down, thumbs across. Heart lifts. Another breath here, inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Frame the foot, tuck under the toes, fly left leg high up to the sky, and then flow through your vinyasa. Meeting back in your downward facing dog, beautiful. Left side, let's go, sweep left leg up. Step it through between the hands. Reach the arms all the way up, and we take those dips, lower for one and lift, core engage, lower for two, and lift, glutes are working for three, and lift, for four, and lift, for five, and lift, float the hands all the way down to the mat, right hand comes down, sweep that left arm up and over, revolve Skandasana, then this left arm comes up above the head, let's take an inhale, lift, Exhale, pulsate. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, last one. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful. Bring it around, left side skandhasana, hands to heart center, or you can have those fingertips down. You do you, remember? This is your practice, your journey. Breathing here. And we're gonna make our way to goddess. This time in our goddess, hands onto the thighs, drop the left shoulder, drop the right, drop the left. Drop the right, come back through center. Inhale, take those arms up. Exhale, bring it over. Right side, Skandasana. Frame the right foot, drop the back knee down, lift the chest. Hands interlace, working down towards the mat, lifting. 
So we've got this dual action, fingertips really reaching down as we lift the heart and the crown of the head up. Slowly release the hands, frame the foot, step it all the way back, sweep the right leg high, and then work down through your vinyasa, meeting back in a downward facing dog. Take a breath. Okay, so we the left leg up. We've got to get back to the front of the mat. Step it through between the hands. Reach the arms high up to the sky. We've got those dips for one. Lift. Two. Lift. Three. Lift. Four. Lift. Five. Lift, beautiful, float right hand down next to the foot. Sweep the left arm up and over, then let's go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, Inhale, and then bringing it all the way around. Left side Skandasana, hands to heart center or to fingertips, lift through the chest. And then let's power up. Come through our goddess, hands come to the thighs. Drop the left shoulder, lift up. Drop the right, lift up. Drop the left, lift, drop the right. And lift, inhale, sweep the arms high up to the sky. Exhale, take it to the front of the mat, Skandasana. Pivot yourself around, drop the back knee down, untuck the toes. Interlace those hands, find Kali Mudra. Lift through the chest. Keep that heart lifting, that energy, that fire burning. Stay connected to breath. Checking in with how you feel, your practice. Slowly release, frame the foot. Float that right leg up skies, up high to the sky. Sky to the high. And then wave your way forward, vinyasa. Making your way back to your downward facing dog. And then you've got options. You can drop down to the knees, take a child's pose, or just come into a kneeling position. Or you can lower the forearms down, find dolphin. And maybe you want to work your pinchamayarasana, your forearm stand. You absolutely don't have to. Wherever you want to be, maybe you just want to stay in a downward facing dog. Remember, only you know your body. Any yoga teacher can tell you where to go and how to follow the sequence. But you can read how your body feels and what it's asking for. Two more breaths wherever you decided to be. And then on your next inhale, step or float the feet to the hands. Lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold down over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms high up to the sky. Exhale those hands through heart center. Release the hands down by the side to dasana. Close your eyes, connect to breath. Just allow yourself to be in this present moment. Check in with your energy. Any tingling sensations. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. And then come to sit all the way down on your bottom. We're going to come to Baddha Konasana. So letting the knees drop out to the side. Soles of the feet are together. Keep the spine beautiful and long. Take an inhale, lengthen, crown of the head lifts. Exhale, reaching forwards. Now, remember that you can stack pillows underneath the knees if you don't feel comfortable with them coming out so far or if it's uncomfortable you can support yourself you could always put a cushion underneath the head as well just to rest upon and wherever you are just closing the eyes 
and checking in with the breath, the body. And walking the hands up. Take the legs out long in front of you. You might want to take your strap or a block to sit on, or you might want to wrap your strap around your feet. You're not going to sit on the strap. You're going to come to Paschimottanasana, our forward fold. Again, lengthening all about the crown of the head and the spine, reaching for the diagonal. So we're not rounding the spine going downwards, we're reaching forwards. And again, you can close the eyes and just allow the breath to make its way around the body, filling you up, nourishing you, checking in with your aliveness. How do you feel right now in this moment? Can you feel that energy, that little bit of fire that you cultivated through that practice? Can you still feel it in the body? On an inhale, lifting all the way up. And then we're going to come to lay down and take a few moments on our backs. Option to take a Supta Konasana variation with the legs, or you can have the knees dropping together just to release tension through the spine. Whichever option is gonna serve you most in this moment. Remember, we are ever-changing beings. Just because you could do something one day doesn't mean you'll do it the next. We need to just check in constantly with who we are and how we feel to do what is going to serve us most. Close your eyes. Nice, big inhale. And sigh it all out. <sighs> Slowly bringing some feeling back into the physical body, wiggling those fingers and toes. Maybe taking a big stretch overhead. Maybe you even find a yawn. And then rolling over to one side and pausing there for a moment. Keep the eyes closed. No need to rush in your own time, gently making your way back up to that comfortable seated position. Placing one hand on top of the other at the heart center. Noticing all the parts of your body connected to the earth. Feel energy rising up through your body. Feeling into your aliveness. Crown of the head lifted. And we'll seal our practice today with one big, beautiful, releasing breath. Take an inhale. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. So 
That was a mini mandala. Um, we are actually moving into our month of mandala, October, I'm going to say 2020, because these videos on YouTube stay here forever. So you might be in 2021 listening to me saying this. Um, and just know that every practice that is filmed for the Soul Sanctuary membership stays there. So there is an archive of over 180 practices at the moment. So if you sign up looking forward to like the month that's coming, just know that you've got a lot of practices to keep you busy and until Mandala month or whenever it is that you are looking forward to. So thank you so much for flowing with me here on YouTube. I am so grateful for those of you that check out the Soul Sanctuary um, and I really hope that you join the family because it's a beautiful place. Um, I look forward to seeing you on the mat again very soon. Take care of yourself, be good to yourself, be kind, gentle, share love. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.